Hello and welcome back to the second edition of Lidvid. Now, Marcus, this one's for you. You wanted a uh, topless, so hey, your request, I, uh, I oblige. So today I'm gonna to go through two of uh, my favorite hats, or two, two of my lids anyway. Um, lids that I do not wear really ever, but they've got a good significance um, attached to them, I suppose is how I'd put it. Following on from last vid, when I was in Australia, this is where I started to get a little bit more into the hat scene and picked up my next two lids from there. So let's check them out. Lid number one. What we got going on there? So this is a black maroon felt random hat. Why the hell do I have this? Brisbane 2013 101 with a boomerang on it. Velcro strapping on the back. Right? Shape. So so. Why? <laughs> why why why? Uh, it has a strong attachment sentiment to it. So when I moved down to Australia, I went to the University of Queensland and I was in an on-campus accommodation called King's College. And within the first week of being there, there was a full set of challenges and events that were taking place. It was called D-Week. And one of them was pub golf. So you had to dress up in your golfing gear, and you had to head down to the university bar to start off, and they gave you a score sheet with all the names of the bars, like Pub Crawl 2015 on top, like they put in a huge effort to make this, and then also the par, so what drink you had to drink and how many attempts you had to finish it for it to be on par. So the first bar was a jug, a, a pitcher of beer, and that was three, three drinks to, to be on par. So there was a few lads, you know, starting off quick, trying to chug it, it's about three pints worth, two and a half pints worth. So that ended pretty badly and we made our way into the city. But, you know, just moving down, I didn't bring golf gear. So I made my way to the op shop, which is the vintage shops in Australia. And it was Wednesday. I clearly remember this really nice lady who was volunteering, you know, to work in the shop. As soon as I walk in, hey, welcome, it's half price Wednesdays. Like everything in the shop is half price. Like really? Like it's cheap enough as it is. Things are like $3. $4. So I'm looking around, I just need a hat to go with my polo and shorts. So I find this bad boy, half price, so it was $2. I wore this hat and we took the, the city cat, which is the ferry down the river, down the brown snike, all the way into the city and had one of the best days ever. That was just such an incredible day, one that I always look back on, remember, and it kicked my whole Australia trip off to a bang. So that's number one, love this. Number two. Uber. This hat is screaming out to be cleaned. <laughs> it's so dirty, but it's it's got character. Some great, great character. Again, why this hat? I mean, it is cool, Uber, but still, like, why hold on to something like this? So one of the guys that I was living with, I lived in a 13-man, like, apartment block, essentially. There was four levels, so there was 13 of us on one floor, and one of the guys did some brand, like, marketing for Uber, or, like, just handing out flyers on college campus. He was given like four or five of these and like t-shirts and everything. And this really opened up my eyes to companies making hats. And I just thought it was so cool. Like I knew they did like, but they always just seemed crappy. They always seemed bad. Nothing that you ever would want to keep. Whereas when I saw this, I wanted this. I wanted this bad. Yeah, this, this brings you back again to the time that I was living in Australia closely linked with this other cap, with this other lid, and the people that I lived with, and the guys that were down there, and the, all the memories that we made. So I, I do love this hat. It's a great one. The shape is gas. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, got a whole loads of dirt. I used to train in it. Again, Velcro back. These would be lids number two and three that I ever, ever picked up. Um, and they tie in at the very beginning of of my whole trip um, and my whole collection. So very close to the heart, seldom wear, but have a great have a great attachment to these caps and I think they look good, man. Gotta get it back out in the range. Ooh, tiger. 